Hi everyone, welcome to Study Windows. Study whenever, wherever. In our last session, we have learned the following things. Opaque object doesn't allow light to pass through. Translucent object allow light to pass through partially. Transparent object allow light to pass through completely. And light travels along a straight line. Now, today in this session, we are going to learn what is shadow and its basic understanding how shadows are formed, criteria for shadows, shape of shadows with lots of examples. Look at this video. A little girl, she was just walking and suddenly she saw a dark thing and she is scared. She didn't know what is this and where from it came and she was scared. So in this picture, why this baby is scared and what is this black portion which looks like this baby girl? She was thinking it's a giant or it's a ghost. But this is known as shadow and the surface or the space where the shadow is formed is known as screen and the baby girl is an object and it is a daytime because light is there so look at this one more video this is a shadow and what do you think whose shadow is this oh she is so early. and she is smiling and her shadow is also smiling so there is a light and our suddenly is an object and this is a shadow so how this shadow is formed take a torch light take one object and one screen or surface now if we switch on the light and light rays is falling on the object and the object blocks the light and light is not reaching behind the object all around the space is having light but behind the object there is no light so this portion since the light is blocked shadow is formed we'll try to understand shadow with three different objects an apple that is an opaque object a plastic ball that's a translucent object and a glass that is a transparent object apple apple is an opaque object so it obstructs the light so there is a sunlight the light is falling on the apple but particularly in this place light is not reaching here so dark shadow is formed translucent object light pass through partially so this object block the light partially so a faint shadow is formed it's not a dark one and what about the glass that is a transparent object light pass through completely so this glass cannot obstruct the light and so there will not be any shadow so what is shadow the area or the space where light is blocked by an object is known as shadow hey are you able to see anything here no if there is a light then you are able to see there is an elephant but are you able to see the shadow here no but if we put a screen then we can see the shadow here so to form a shadow there are three things are required light object and screen so there are three criteria for shadow formation one is light another one is opaque object or translucent object and a screen or the surface where the shadow is formed 
safe of shadows. Let us observe this shadow. What do you think? What is this? Can you recognize it? Yes, it's a shadow of a girl with cap and a flower. Yes, here it is. So, shape of shadows are similar to the object. But is it all the time? What do you think? What is this shadow for? A dog? Hey, finger tricks. Here, finger tricks make a shadow of dog. Are you able to find out the object here? The black one, what is this? The black one is not the object. This is the object and this is the shadow. Shape of shadows depends on direction of light or the angle at which light falls on the object. This is an apple. So sun rays is falling like this and shadow is here. If sun is moved and sunlight falls at a different angle, shadow will be different. And another one is distance between light source and object. You see? This is the light and here is the apple. Light is falling on the apple and this is the shadow. If we move the light closer to the object, shadow will be bigger. Let's see our children's activity. Look at this. This is the shadow of a bird. And what do you think? Is it dog? Wow, it's like a dog. See our expert. She can make a lot of things. What do you think? What is this? This is a shadow of a deer. Wow, very nice. It's very good. It's very cute. She is our Sonali and she can make a lot of things. And Wait for the next video. Thank you so much and stay tuned.